Hello, my name is William, and welcome to another video demonstrating how we automate Oracle R12 or Fusion ERP support or back office processes. We leverage automation technologies such as UiPath RPA or robotic process automation, and others such as artificial intelligence or human in loop processes. At a high level, our support automation followed this process. The robots detects the issues, then analyze to determine the root cause. Third, if required, we have a human and loop process to make a decision or to provide additional information. Finally, the robot goes ahead with the resolution flow. So far, we've created hundreds of ready to implement flows handling common issues or errors within Oracle. Some are not really errors, but more what we call business proactive flows, which attempts to resolve transactions gone past due or sitting in hold, etc. Over to you. Thanks, Wilson. This is Naga Nanapneni. I'm part of Simpri Oracle support and back office automation product development team. My role is a solution architect and automation lead for the automation project. I have 20 plus years of experience in Oracle financials implementation for repeated global clients with finance process re-engineering expertise and deep understanding of RPA technology. Today, I will walk you through a demo on how a robot can detect AP invoice errors in Oracle Cloud or Fusion ERP and trigger human in loop process to resolve. In this demo, we are going to demonstrate a common issues in Oracle Payables invoice import process where robot detects AP interface errors in Oracle Cloud ERP and work with relevant business users to get inputs and resolve issues and import the invoices into cloud payables. There are around 100 possible errors in IP interface. Robot can resolve most of these issues with human in loop. Here are a few common causes. Accounting date in a closed period, duplicate invoice number, invalid supplier and supply site information, invalid purchase order information, or invalid payment terms. In this process, Robot creates a task for business users to provide inputs for fixing the errors and will notify the business users via email and also pings on Microsoft Teams or Workplace. Robot routes the communication to appropriate business users based on business unit, invoice source, and the error. Let me explain briefly how we build this automation flow in UiPath. We have built a flow in UiPath Studio to perform the actions for above scenario. If the robot fails to execute the flow, then it will trigger a notification to automation team about the automation failure. First, the robot collects the required configuration files. Once robot successfully collects the data, it will check if there are any invoice errors in AP interface by opening the correct invoice errors FBDA. If it finds the invoices with errors, the robot will know the resolution path for the given error. In this case, it will continue by creating a task with error details and the actions that business users can take against each error. This is how the process flow was built in UiPath Studio. Now, let's move on to the demo of this process. For this demo purpose, I have created an invoice uh, test double one double two in AP interface using FBDI with invalid supplier site. Let's move on and trigger the robot and see how robot fixes this error by collaborating with the business user. This is a UiPath orchestrator screen showing various processes. For demo purpose, we are triggering the process from orchestrator, but in production, this will be a scheduled process running at predefined intervals. We trigger the cloud ERP AP rejections flow. This process opens correct invoice errors FBDA and login with credentials. Once robot log into FBDI file, it starts invoke action. Robot waits until the invoke action completes and the errors from AP interface are fetched into the Excel. As you notice, the errors have been imported into Excel. Robot saves the downloaded data and uses the data in Excel to create the tasks to the business users. Once tasks are created, robot pings the business users on Microsoft Teams as you see on the screen and also sends an email notification. Notice there are multiple tasks created for the errors. Let's look at the task for test invoice double one double two. The message shows the error with a reason for the error and also provides a link to the task. Business user can click on the link either in Microsoft Teams message or 
email notification to open the task in Action Center. Alternatively, business users can access the task in their mobile app as well. Now, I click on the task from the Teams and it opens the task in Action Center and will provide the details of the invoice along with error message and actions that user can take for each error. On this screen, you see an error of invalid supplier site. I am choosing action to update supplier site and moving to supplier site field to correct supplier site value. I am updating the supplier site value to AC US1. After completing the correction, I clicked on submit button for a robot to resolve the issue. See now, the robot started running, which will open the previous FBDI file. As you see, robot opened FBDI file and login with the credentials and identifying the corresponding record and update the site value to AC US1 as provided in the task. After updating the user provided value, robot clicks on save and submit invoice import button, which will update the changes in AP interface table and confirms how many records are updated. After that, FBDI opens import payables invoice window and robot provides the business unit and clicks submit button. FBDI submits the import program and provides the request ID. Once robot notices the request ID, it will close the Excel file. Notice in orchestrator, the status of the process changed to suspended as there are some more tasks requires business user inputs. To show you the imported invoice, let me go back to Cloud AP Invoices Workbench and open a search invoice page. I am providing invoice number test 1122 and supplier name advanced car and click on search button. Notice the invoice that was fixed by robot in collaboration with business user is successfully imported and available for further processing by business users. This proactive monitoring of the potential issues and fixing timely in collaboration with business users will keep transactions up to date and avoid any reconciliation issues during the month-end process. This is just a one example of hundreds of such business scenarios where robots can detect and take corrective action with or without human in loop. This is end of the demo on how robot works with human in loop to resolve issues on Oracle Cloud ERP. Thanks for watching the demo. Over to you, Wilson. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to our Oracle Automation YouTube channel. We launched this YouTube channel to provide practical examples on how Oracle R12 or Fusion, both for support as well as back office processes, can be nearly fully automated using automation technologies such as RPA or robotic process automation, as well as artificial intelligence and others. If interested to learn more, drop us a note at contact at Symprio. Thanks.